I mean, so the first step to spooky pizza is we need the crust. My assistant here will now give me the crust. Not. You take your bobbly, bobbly original crust pizza. Throw in the microwave. Other ingredients we'll be using today. Spooky brains. We've also got dish sponges, Delicious. mozzarella, Yum. knock off sriracha because I ran out the other day, spooky gummy worms, read it, spooky gummy worms, and uh, pizza sauce. So the first step, you want to microwave the, bo the bobbly pizza for, oh, we should pass it. I actually don't know how to make this. Yeah. <coughs> no. Oh, guys, I found the ramen from last night. Look, here it is. Spooky, spooky worms. We're going to be using this uh, as well. What's all this shit doing here? You put it there. The the mark of a good chef is a clean kitchen and dirty sleeves. Why just put it over right here? I learned that from Ratatouille. No, I mean the, this all the other shit. Remember that part of Ratatouille where she's like, the mark of a good chef is a very clean kitchen and dirty sleeves and broken elbows. Broken elbows. Check. I'm Squeak, squeak, squeak! Squeak, squeak. Alright, hold this. You're not holding it. You hold it oh! Up. And then we're gonna use the tin foil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing like. Okay. You wanna put a little bit of olive oil. So that way, it doesn't stick to the pan. I'll put it on my hands. You don't even put it on. Yeah, you do. Otherwise, the bubbly is going to stick. No, you put it on the crust, not on the... No, oh, it'll yeah. stick otherwise. I don't think so. Ugh. Spooky opening! Da, 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 da! Oh. I knocked, the, I knocked the oil over. Okay, it's open. Now, we. Uh, this smells bad. The crust? Let me smell it. And you use that. It smells like dough. And you spread that, spread that oil all over the. all over it. All, all, all over it. There we go. Now, we're gonna start with our spooky base. Spooky. Spooky pizza sauce. First, this is the spookiest part of all. Knock off sriracha. Oh yeah. It? Smell it. Actually, it smells pretty good. Oh yeah. It's making my nose tickle. I just need. I'm sick. I'm sick. All right. Let's. Uh, it's spooky because this is uh this is an off brand. We don't know if it's gonna taste good or not. Let's try. Let's try a little. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> you could try some. I don't want to. Not after that. Yeah. You know what's just bad? Yeah. I only supposed to just drink sriracha like Blech. that. Pretty spooky. Yeah. 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 I don't like it. I don't like it. 
<coughs> Step one, spooky pizza. <coughs> Italian seasoning. This is from college. I went to college. What? A long time ago. How long ago has it been? Maybe six years now? This is at least six years old. Spooky! We start with the dry rub on the pizza. Next, we add our tomato sauce. <laughs> what? You mix a little bit of the tomato sauce with the herbs. Oh my God. <laughs> You're making me laugh. I'm trying to teach them how to cook. You insert some of your spooky sriracha, mix it up, add, add it in. And now for a little bit extra spooky, we've got our Dave's Insanity Hot Sauce. Can you help? Now this one, you don't want to come into contact with your skin. But it's okay if it comes into contact with the sauce. Ah. Now, we apply the pizza sauce into the dry rub. See, don't touch the skin, you still touch it anyways. No, I'm not touching it, I'm touching the sauce. Now it depends how saucy you like your pizza. I pref prefer not to have it too saucy. And here's another trick. If you guys want to get your sauce really in the crust, this also this technique works on meats as well. Typically you want to do this before you apply the sauce, but yeah, just get get a little stabby stab action on, stab, stab, stab. Here, you try. You have to hold the knife with intent. Stabby stab. But don't stab through the, the pizza. I mean, don't stab through the, the pizza tray. Okay. That's enough. I'm a natural. Great job. Now, now you just stand here like this. And then we, we apply the sauce into the into the pizza. We rub rub it in there. Now <clears throat> where'd that cap go? Oh you got, thank you. Now we're gonna add the spooky cheese. And now, since we already have our tomato sauce mixed in, you want to start mixing that in with the cheese. Get it, get it nice and in there. Just squeeze the sauce into the cheese. Nice and in there. Would you like to try? No, I don't, I'm, I'm okay. You said you got a pretty good handle on it. And then we're gonna make our cheese brain. So we're gonna take the sauce, get that nice red coloring, squeeze it. Can we get a can we get a close up? Just uh, you know, just grab the camera. Just just grab it. Yeah, it and so to make our cheese brain, we're gonna take the tomato sauce with our cheese and just get it right in there, get it nice and in there. Take our, our new cheese brain and we're gonna apply that all over. Uh, we need a little bit more cheese brains. So we're gonna right up in here. A little bit more cheese. Okay. A little bit more cheese and uh, we're gonna need a little bit more of our spooky blood sauce. Right up in there. Apply our mashed cheese brain all over the, our, our pizza. And if you really want to get some force in, you can really push it into the, the little knife marks that we made earlier. Remember? Great. Now, a spooky. Or you can be you can be the camera person, or you can just put it. Now, next we're gonna use we're gonna put our spooky brains into the. <coughs> 
into the pizza. Now the same technique here applies for extra, extra blood. I'm gonna get that, that blood sauce right in there, right into the brains. Because the blood's already been drained. It's just a lull. Just pat that in right nicely into the brain. Oh, it's cold. Oh, the brains is cold. Oh, it's cold. Oh. oh, 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 my fingers. Oh, it's cold. Now I just put all these brains onto the pizza. And you want to get a nice, nice even distribution. Lots of uh, break apart the brains because otherwise, if it clumps up too much, it's not going to cook evenly. You never want to have undercooked brains on your spooky, spooky pizza. Because what's more spooky than brains? Foodborne illnesses from consuming undercooked or raw foods. So make sure, and, and you know what, there's some, a little bit extra, too much brains in here. Um, so we're really going to have to... Okay, now we're going to have to improvise, guys, because as you can see, I just said you don't want to have too much brains on the pizza. Uh, there's a lot of brains here. Um, we're going to create little pockets using our fingers. So just like you're playing the piano. Sing it with me. Now, with our little meat pockets, we're going to fill that with the rest of our cheese. And now, for the smoothest part of all, oh, preheat the oven? Yeah. Are you preheating the oven? Uh, do you mind doing the, the gummy worms? Could you, could you do the honors? Did you just put the camera back up? No, I want to actually say some of the gummy worms. Okay. You just hand me a couple. Oh dear. Now guys. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Just hand me a couple gum, gummy worms and I'll show you guys what to do with them. So for a spooky effect, you want to really get the worms in there and have them burrow out. So, uh, use a couple more. Maybe like six or seven of them. Oh, I'm touching my hand. You can probably wash your hands anyways. I already washed my hands. Just get the get those worms nice and in there. Yeah. All right. And now to for an extra spooky effect, right wherever the the worms are coming out of the brains, you want to add some more blood effects. So we're just gonna use our spooky sriracha. Spooky hands. I just stepped on some raw meat. More cheese? The, we used all the cheese. There's cheese all over the floor. There's cheese everywhere. I need to wash my hands. One sec. Can you keep that company in water? Should I clean your floor? Oh, Oh. Vicky! <clears throat> I think I can do ramen now that I have no voice. Oh, oh, oh.
Spooky Pizza, I don't want to eat it. Alright. Let's show them, uh, show you guys a close up of the spooky. Oh god, this floor is so gross. Look in the floor real quick. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll clean up while, while, uh, while it's baking. Yeah. It's gross. See I'll show you guys a close up of this pizza. Oh, this shit all over the floor. Yeah, <laughs> shit all over the floor. <sighs> show you guys a close up. This is the brain pizza. Do you see? Do you see? It's so spooky. There's a layer of brains, cheese brains oozing out on the bottom. Then there's actual brains, beef brains. And then we got extra cheese. And look, spooky, spooky gummy worms with blood oozing out of the pizza. I want to take a screenshot of this. Beautiful. Someone screenshot that straight to food porn on Discord. Oh, so good looking. Oh, right. An extra, we need extra spooky Italian seasoning on top for a gourmet finish. Yes. How to destroy your stomach? No. If your stomach can't handle this, you're a pussy and you weren't going to make it anyways. Some fresh ground pepper. And this is all because we forgot to season the meat. No, not forgot. We were saving the seasoning for the end. Some fresh ground salt. And there's already enough sodium from the, from the cheese, but fuck it. Be careful, don't burn yourself. This is the spookiest part, kitchen safety. Now we're gonna put it in the oven at 500 degrees. Just kidding, 450. And we're gonna leave it there until done. Next part, 